Do not need a million dollar spot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, goddamn, dude. I've been a 24 hour film crew. Have we got that? I mean, how can I not, spot? Look here, buddy. Listen. Listen to me. I mean, you. I seen you kill the fucking chicken. We have a problem now. Oh, come here, spot. Come on, buddy. You want a bone? Come here. Let me give you a bone. We got, we got to talk about this. This is one of the hardest episodes. Of, I've only filmed three episodes of the Brian and Spot show. It's not really so. He's just, he's like Matt's dog. Me and him, you know, we, we got to keep the farm under control. However, that being said, Spot, I need somebody. We're going to put Spot on trial, and we have to, because Spot killed, killed a chicken today. And he put me in a bad position because not only did I want him not to kill the chicken, he shows me the dead chicken at spot. Only way three people can keep secrets if two of them's dead. You should have took that chicken straight to the marsh and they shouldn't have been a word spot. Hell, where's chicken? I don't nobody knows. Like that rabbit. I don't know. They say it's at Tom's place. We're not really sure. What we got? On the one hand, Spot did in fact kill the chicken. And he's not saying he didn't. You know what I mean? And God, God. We're going to find out if you're guilty or not, Spot. I mean, in all fairness, I have to, I found this out later. So Spot did, in fact, kill the chicken. Spot does, in fact, admit to killing the chicken. Spot does, in fact, does, in fact, say that he knew he wasn't supposed to kill the fucking chicken. Right? I mean, and he does act remorseful now. But later I found out, I did not know this, I was out of town. I later found out that old spot here. Look how damn he looks, but God damn, you can't look that guilty in front of the jury. My God, son. All right, this, this is just one of them cases where we're just going, as his advocate and prosecutor, we're just going to rely on jury nullification on the fact that in fact, social conditions were such that Spot didn't have no food. Spot was out of food. Now, Spot, did Spot eat a fucking biscuit that morning? Yeah, but it wasn't a meal. I mean, it was just like a milk bone dog treat. I just goddamn got mad. He probably did get mad about it. Spot got mad about it and went and killed the chicken. In reality, I think he was just hungry. And you know. You know what people do when they're fucking hungry. You know what I do? I go to the food bank and get all kinds of cool food. You know, God bless that church for the clams. I'd best fucking clam. I never had one. Never mind. Back to the trial. So what I want y'all to decide. Guilty or not guilty on charges of first degree murder of the chicken. Not second degree. Because here it is. I knew. And Spot knew. And I told Spot not to kill that chicken. I said, Spot, don't kill that fucking chicken or I'm going to whoop the fuck out of you. Now, did I whoop? I may or may not have spanked him for killing the chicken. That's a whole nother trial altogether. Okay, so, you know, dog on. You know, I ain't never owned the dog per se. I don't own this dog per se. He's his own sentient being. And he does like hanging out with me. And I get... That means a lot to me. That... Spot has value to me. That's all I'm going to say. I have emotional ties to Spot. And I don't want to see him serve some lengthy sentence. Because Spot was hungry. You know what he did? You know what he did? But see, then here's the other circumstances. Spot could have went and got god dang fish out of the lake. Spot, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. I think. I don't know. Is Spot guilty of murder in the first degree? Or did insinuating circumstances... Did he commit murder, aggravated murder with malicious intent? Or did he simply need to eat? Or, yes, he committed murder, but he had the right to because Brian was out of town and didn't feed him. But it was only like fucking 12 hours, Spot. You've heard it. You've heard it. Look at those Spot. Y'all don't want to find him guilty. I mean, go down. Tell him, Spot. Tell him leave the past where it belongs. In the past. That's why they call it the past, because it's done past us by. See, their opportunity to get you on them chicken charges is over. Ain't it? That shit's over with. I love old Spot. He's good. And I, I mean, like I say, he ain't my dog, but you shouldn't really own a dog. I mean, dogs are sentient things. They can go where they want. They can be like, shit, this time, I'm like, I appreciate it.